Hi, Jen Tinlin here from StampWithJen.com. Today I'm going to show you how to do the birch bark technique on this card. Okay, so what you need for this is a piece of Baja Breeze cardstock, 11 by 4 and a quarter, a piece of Espresso cardstock, 5 and a quarter by 4, a piece of white cardstock, 5 by 3, uh, by three and three quarters, a piece of crumb cake, four and a quarter by three, and this is a piece of glossy white, I don't know if you can see the gloss on there, four by uh, two and uh, three quarters. And of course some ribbon and some twine. Um, I've got a little scrap of white on here as well. So stamps that you need is Lovely as a Tree. This is my all-time favorite uh, stamp set for versatile cards. I'm also using one of my favorite greeting sets, Teeny Tiny Wishes, um, a Word Window Punch, Three colors are crumb cake, Baja Breeze, and early espresso, some sponges, a gel pen, some dimensionals, and the twine and the Baja Breeze ribbon that I mentioned. This is seam binding ribbon is what this is. Very pretty and light. First thing I'm going to do is ink up this uh, tree, line of trees, with my early espresso ink. I'm just going to really give it a good rub so it's a very detailed stamp and I want it all to show. I'm going to stamp these up towards the top of my glossy piece of cardstock, pressing firmly to get all that detail. Like that. And then what you want to do with glossy is let it dry for a second, um, otherwise you'll smear it when you touch it. So here through the magic of television, I have one here that's dry. And what I'm going to do is I took a piece of uh, white paper, I stamped this image again, and then I cut it out along the tree line. And this is going to provide my mask. I just have to turn this around so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to take my Baja Breeze ink and a sponge. And I'm going to lay that right along the tree line. And then I'm going to sponge here. So if this ink wasn't dry, it would actually smear at this point. And just sponging. And you know what? It doesn't have to be perfect because it's the sky. It's all variated. Although I'm going to add just a little bit of darkness on the top. Like that. Isn't that pretty? And then when I remove the mask, I get the white tree line. So it looks like uh, a scene in winter with a little bit of snow, just like what we're having here. Okay, so the next step I'm going to do, and this is just a really subtle um, part to the card. You can almost not tell it's there, but I want these to be birch trees. So I'm just adding some white gel pen to all the brown bits. They're still going to be mostly brown, otherwise you wouldn't really be able to see them. Birch trees aren't always just pure white anyways. Okay, so now let me show you how to do the birch part, because that is really cool. So now I'm going to take the white piece, and I'm going to take my crumb cake ink and another sponge, and I'm going to rub it along the white, trying to get a bit of streaking happening. I'm going to go over the whole thing. And I don't care if I have some kind of blobs that happen, because this is supposed to resemble birch bark, so it's not going to be perfect. I'm going to even add a few dabs of darker color. So it doesn't look like much other than a mess right now, but wait, this is where the magic happens. I'm going to take my very expensive fingernail and dab it on my ink pad. And I have absolutely no fingernails, so if I can do this, you, anybody can. And look what I'm going to do. I'm just going to use my fingernail to stamp and add all those kind of lines like what you see on a birch bark. So there you go. You can see I've done, and I've got this piece of paper that looks like birch bark. Now you can see I've got my little fingerprint um, on, under a lot of these, um, just because I have no fingernail. So, but it actually just adds to the look because again, a birch bark tree is pretty much never just pure white. Um, so the rest of this card is just assembly. I've just uh, layered the layers together and taped on the ribbon. So here's again the final project. So it's very subtle in the background. You might not even notice it at first, but um, I actually showed it to my ten-year-old son, and he saw right away that this looked like birch bark. So. Is my birch bark tree card. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed learning about the birch bark technique. Check back to stampwithjen.com often for other videos and techniques. Thank you.